Okay, first we want to graph of the square root of x. So the square root of x goes through 0, 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 4, y is 2. So it looks like this. And so it says now use that graph to get the graph of 6 minus, the square root of 6 minus x. All right, I have to work on it a little bit. I have to first make it minus x plus 6. Then I have to factor the minus sign out. All right, so the x minus 6 will move it 6 to the right, and then the minus sign will flip it vertically. across the y-axis. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it would look like that. So it looked like that. Okay, that's just the square root of x minus six, and that's the square root of minus x minus six. Okay, now, graph f prime of x. Okay, I'm going to draw me another picture of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Goes through over one, up one, over four. Oops. Uh, okay, so to graph the derivative, all you have to do is look at the slopes of the tangent lines and make some guesses. So we'll make this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so here we have a tangent line and its slope looks like maybe negative one half. And here I have a tangent line and its slope is like maybe negative one. And here I have a tangent line and a slope of something between those two. And then over here, the tangent line is getting even smaller. And then here it's getting way bigger. So here this one slope looks like down one over one half. So slope of negative two, negative five negative 9 until I get right to this point and the slope is vertical okay so it doesn't have any kind of the its slope is undefined okay so that was at six one two three four five six okay so here I have a slope of negative one half and then I had a slope of negative three fourths, and then I had a slope of negative one, and then I had a slope of negative two. Oops. And then right in here, goes like this. All right, so I say that's the derivative. And this one is pointing down because it's going to negative infinity right there. All right, next it says, Find the derivative using the limit, okay? So prime of x is the limit as h goes to zero, square root of six minus x plus h, minus the square root of six minus eight, x all over h. Now if you plug h equals zero in here, you get zero over zero, which tells us we have some algebra to do. But there's just a trick, and the trick is to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the top. 
conjugate means the same exact stuff except for different sign. And don't forget to multiply by it on the bottom too. Okay, the reason you multiply by the conjugate is when you multiply a minus b, a plus b, you get a squared plus b squared. No, you don't. You get a squared, you get minus, and you get b squared. No square roots, which, which is what we're trying to get. So you get 6 minus x plus h. Okay, not squared, because I have the square root, and I have squared it. Minus parentheses 6 minus x over h. Don't really multiply on the bottom, just leave it like it is. Okay, so on the top we have 6 minus 6, so those are gone. Negative x minus minus x, so those are gone. And you're left with minus h over h times 6 minus x minus h plus 6 minus x. And now you can cancel the h's, which will leave us a minus 1 on top. Now take the limit, plug in h equals 0, and you end up with minus 1 over 6 minus x plus the square root of 6 minus x, which is minus 1 over 2 square roots of 6 minus x. All right, so, so that's the derivative. And then the last thing was find the domain. Okay, domain means which numbers did you use to draw it? That's the easiest way. So um, for square root of 6 minus x, I used all the negative x values up to negative 6. So domain f minus infinity to minus 6, including minus 6. And then when I drew the derivative, I used all the same numbers except for minus 6. Okay, and then it said check your calculator, make sure you drew them right. So do that, make sure I drew them right. If I didn't, bad, bad me. Okay, I'm, I'm sure they're good. Okay, I hope that helps.